And M. Sugandar gets us underway. It promises to be an exciting, entertaining game of football here in the scorching heat at the GMC Stadium in Goa. And this ball's been tried to play through. He's onside here, face to face with the goalkeeper. He's beaten him to it. Lack support. It's one in the box. Vikram Pratap arriving a little late. But the danger still lurks. And this is Nikhil. Then most of the other teams. Ritwik trying to turn his man. But Nikhil has come away with it. And straight away tries to find the run of Manveer. Love day. Tries to get it clear. The arrows are claiming for an ambitious back pass there. But they were never going to get that. It has been a productive week in the Hero I League. Plenty of goals. No draws so far, which is always good for the neutral. And a shot comes in from distance. Needed a save from Lachenpa. Well, it was from distance, but well worth the effort. it not far away the arrows wanted the flag up but it's not going to come Ritwik ball comes in towards Mason Robertson oh what a header that is classic Mason Robertson header but it is the snow leopards who have taken the lead in the 17th minute. There we have it. Lovely ball in towards the far post and Mason Robertson rose above everyone. Towering header. Textbook header there. And you can see the injury as well as Mason. This time his pass goes astray. Katibi away. Looking for Kriso. Beautifully taken by Kriso. He's rolled his man as well. Cuts inside. Kriso! Hits the bar. Might still be alive, but... Samik lucky to see. It was a goal. It was a skill that really deserved a goal. The way he took that ball out of the sky and rolled his man. Ricky will recycle it back into the box. And this is Vikram Pratap. What a chance! It sat down very kindly for Vikram Pratap, just couldn't keep it down on target. If there's one player you wanted that chance to fall to in that Arrows team, it was their number six. Held off the challenge from Mason. And this is the free kick. And that's the end of the first 45 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, at the GMC Stadium here in Goa, it is the away team that have the lead. Kind of taken shot. Now Ayush Adhikari, it's opened up for Adhikari. Draws the save out of Lechenpa. Needed a strong arm to keep that one out. Wow, what a good patch of play here for the Arrows. If they don't get a goal here. This is Chester Paul now, picking his way through the defence. Still Chester Paul. Samik had to be brave there and he was. Came out of his line ever so quickly, sensed the danger. And grabbed the ball and in the process might even have hurt himself. The medical team is on its way. Look at this run here from Lindo. There were three white shirts around him, but the arrows have lost it here. It's three on three. Ritwik. Breezes past Henry. Still Ritwik. And now Bazi. It requires a save from Summit to keep it out. Here we go. Ritwik with a beautiful skill. A great cutback as well. And that hit an arm was cut back and it was real Kashmir's number nine 
against Samik Mitra. Can Samik keep his team in the game? Krizo, the Snow Leopards were looking for the kill these past few minutes. And now they eventually have hunted that second goal down. Cool and composed penalty from Real Kashmir's number nine gives them the cushion that they were looking for. Adhikari again. Lovely pass in that pocket of space to Gifson Singh. Danu again. A couple of step overs and it's found its way to Gifson. Vikram Pratap teed it up. It was there to be hit for Gifson Singh. Wide off the target. Ball comes in. It's in a dangerous area. Akash Mishra just couldn't get there in time. Tried to send the ball back across, but it's all the way to Gifson, who has a chance to recycle it back in. Chaotic in there. It will be brutal if they can't even get a goal for themselves. A lovely through ball there almost. For the Indian Arrows against Churchill Brothers has the chance to get the Arrows back into this game. Gifson! Not too far away. It was the right idea. He didn't try and go over the wall. Just shy of the tee. On. Ball comes in towards Vikram Pratap at the near post. And there's the final whistle from M. Sugandar. Well, it has been an absorbing game of football for sure, which has also been thrilling at times. And there certainly has been and had been some thrilling football on show, particularly from the team in white. But it is the team in blue who will be celebrating in the team bus tonight because they are the ones.